Okay, so today's video has been kind of highly requested. I've been getting messages on Tumblr of people asking me to make a video about my lip ring. Someone asked me to make a video about my industrial. So I thought why not just make a video on all my piercings and my one tattoo because this way we just get them all out of the way at the same time and I don't have to keep making individual videos for each piercing and I can just do them all in one video. So let's, let's start. So I'm just gonna show all my piercings real quick. And of course I have my lip. <laughs> and I have... So, I'm gonna start with the piercings I got first to last. I'm gonna go in order. Yeah, we're gonna start with the boring stuff. My first piercings that I got were my earlobe piercings. Like everyone else, I got them pierced when I was a baby. But when I was younger, like, I didn't like wearing earrings. I don't know why, I just didn't like them. And I remember like they used to hurt because I would always take them out and I guess the I guess the earlobes never healed because I would always take them out. And I remember once my mom tried to she was trying to um put them in my ear and it hurt really bad. So she just gave up. Ever since then I, I hadn't worn earrings in my first ears. In my first ears. I don't ever remember wearing earrings since then. So the holes eventually closed. When I was ten, I got them repaired. Um I remember I was at the mall with my grandparents once. And we passed like a piercing kiosk thing. And my grandpa was like, I'll give you $20 you get your ears pierced. I'm like, no. He was like, $30, no. He went all the way up to $50. And I was like, and I was just like, no, I don't wanna get my ears pierced. And so I didn't get him pierced that day. But then like a week later, I was at the mall with my mom. We passed by Claire's and my mom was like, are you gonna get your ears pierced? And then I was just like, yeah, why not? Sure. The people who pierced my ears, it was two girls. And they took two different piercing guns, and one girl stood on this side, one lady stood on this side, and they did both of them at the count of three at the same time. So yeah, that's the story of that. I got my first holes pierced when I was 10. I was really scared. So then, when I was 12, I got my second holes pierced. I was in, like, the sixth grade, I think, middle school. And we had got a bunch of new students that year. One new girl came, and she had her second holes pierced, and I thought it was so cool, like, because I'd never seen anyone in our school with that before. So that made me want to get my second holes pierced. So I asked my mom, and she said yes. And I, I remember me and my little sister both went to get our pierced together at the same time. And we went to the mall again. And this time we didn't go to Claire's. We went to a different, like a, a little kiosk stand in the middle of the mall instead. You can't see them because I took the, I don't really wear jewelry in the second hole anymore. This is the second hole. This is the third hole right here. This is the third hole, this is the second hole. You can see it a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the hole's still open. I just don't really wear jewelry anymore because it gets in the way. Like, all of this can get really cluttered now that I have my ear stretched again, and it feels really uncomfortable. So I just don't wear jewelry in the second holes anymore. So yeah, that's the story of my second hole. I got those. I got my second hole was done when I was 12. I think I said that already. Yeah. So I can't remember if I got if I did my third holes first or if I got my lip pierced first. I can't remember. I think I got my lip pierced before my third holes. So. I'm pretty sure I did. So I got my lip pierced when I was 16. When I was 13, I went through my like scene phase or whatever. So I really got into piercings and tattoos and stuff, but mostly piercings. And I would sit online all day and just watch piercing videos. Like I would watch piercing videos all the time. I was 13 and I was trying to talk my mom to let me get piercing. And at first I showed her a video of this girl and I was like, look at this girl with her lip pierced, mom. And I'm like, what, would I look nice with that? And she was like, oh, you really look cute with one. But I was only 13, so she was like, but maybe when you, when you get older, I would just like keep asking her if I could get my lip pierced. And then once I was like, okay, can I get pierced when, I'm, when I turn 14 for my 14th birthday? And she was like, maybe. So I was really expecting to get my lip pierced when I turned 14. Then when I didn't get my lip pierced for my 14th birthday, I was just like, all right, whatever. I'll, I guess I'll wait till I'm 16. I turned 16 and I got my lip pierced for my 16th birthday. The pain wasn't that bad. I kind of knew what to expect because like I said, I was watching piercing videos all the time. On a scale of 1 to 10, my lip piercing was like a two and a half, maybe a three. It was like one of my easiest body piercings besides my ears. Earlobe piercings, I didn't rate that one, but if you wanna, on a scale of one to 10, the ear piercing is like one. So yeah, it was, it was really quick. The thing that really sucks is the healing process. Like people are scared to get the piercings done. That's the easy part. The healing process is what sucks. Your lip swells, it'll swell for like three days. And then like the, the crusties, it sucks. Like they hurt the crusties, like if you don't clean them off, 
it, it, it really sucks. My lip was like one of my easiest piercings. It healed pretty fast. It healed in, so you weren't allowed to change it out until after, I think he said eight weeks, I think. Or until after six weeks, you're not allowed to change the jewelry. Something like that, I don't know. I know I, I, I waited 10 weeks until I got it switched out from a stud to a hoop. So then after that, I'm pretty sure I got my third holes pierced. I was still 16 when I got them done. Yeah, I was still 16 when I got them done. And that's because I, I did it myself. This is my third holes. And I don't have it in this one because I don't know what happened. But a few days ago, it just got really swollen and it started hurting really bad. I don't know if that's like a reaction from the acrylic plugs. I never really wore acrylic plugs. But this ear didn't do that. Only this ear. So I don't have the jewelry in over here. I pierced my third holes myself. And the story behind that is... So the story behind that, I know it was in the summertime. And it was like the summer before Warp Tour 2012. It was like a really boring Saturday. And I remember I was really upset about something. I, I don't know exactly what. But I was really, I was bored and upset. And that's a bad combination because I, I do stupid things when I'm bored and upset. So my way of entertaining myself would be to pierce my ear. And <laughs> I had a safety pin, a lighter, and a, some earrings. Um, and alcohol, I'm rubbing alcohol. I was like, yep, I'm going to pierce my ear. I'm bored. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it. So I did it. So yeah, it was hard to do, but I did it anyway, and yeah. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, um, <laughs> where was I? I was talking about my third hole. Um, I just did it, like I just did it on impulse. So I didn't like think to tell anyone, like, oh, I'm gonna pierce my ears, guys. I, j I just did it because I was bored. And yeah, no one, no one really cared. They were just like, oh, that's just something Shalay would do. <laughs> And it healed up fine. It was okay, and I was like, okay, cool. And the pain for that was like a six because I did it myself with a safety pin. So you know, I skipped the piercing. <sighs> this pink one, this little pink thing, that's my cartilage piercing. Um, I was 14 when I got that. I got it done in Claire's also, and they did it with the piercing gun. I know you're not supposed to, but I did it anyway because I was 14. I didn't care, and I just wanted a new piercing. So yeah, and the pain for that was, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was about a f 2, probably. It didn't really hurt that back because it was a gun, and it was really fast. And they pierced it with a regular earring, and right now I have a 14 gauge uh, hoop in it. And I basically used a 14 gauge taper to stretch it, and then put the hoop in. That didn't really hurt too bad. So then when I was 17, last year, no, two years ago, oh my god, I'm so old. I'm so old guys. I'm so old. I don't even feel this old. Like I honestly feel like I haven't aged past 15. I took this test online. I think it was on Tumblr. It was like type in your real age and find out your mental age. And you like answer like a bunch of questions and stuff and it'll tell you like your mental age. And it said I was mentally 15 and I was like that's so believable. Alright, anyway back to my piercings. So yeah, it became sort of a tradition to get a new piercing for every birthday. Until this year I didn't, I kind of ran out of piercings that I wanted. So then on my 17th birthday, I got my hips pierced because I originally went in to get my belly button pierced, but they told me that I didn't have the right belly button to get it pierced. So I went home and I cried about it and then I ended up asking my mom, can I just get my hips pierced then? And she let me get my hips pierced. Yep, that's one little cute little pink, not pink, blue guy. And this little blue guy came out. He died. I remember I named them, but I don't exactly, I don't remember what I named them. As you could tell, one of them is out. Um, it rejected like a year later. Like, I think, I think all dermal piercings will do that. They start to rise a few times. Like mine would do it like every few months they would rise and I would just put band-aids on them and keep them clean and they would go back down. This one haven't, hasn't done it in a while, but they used to do that a lot. And then this one had just got so bad that it did, it wouldn't go back down. And I eventually just, I just squeezed it out. I have the jewelry from it. This is what it looks like. It's really small. So yeah, this is what a dermal looks like for those of you who are wondering. So that's what a dermal anchor looks like. It's super small. Um, basically the back part, just in case you were wondering, this back part here will go underneath the skin. These little holes, your skin kind of like heal through the holes and that's what hold it, holds it into place. And then the little diamond just pokes out on top. Just a quick piercing lesson for all you kids out there who didn't know that. I didn't know it was that small. I really expected it to be like longer underneath the skin. 
And when I took it out, I was like, like, whoa, that's that's super small. You saw the scar. Um, I'll show you again in case you want to get a, another look at it. That is the scar. Pretty much, um, it really didn't hurt when it rejected. I expected it to hurt so much more. It didn't hurt at all. I just I just squeezed it out. When they they like rise, they kind of like swell up. And when it rose, I just usually keep a bandaid on them until they like swell back, go back down. But this one like wasn't going back down. So I, I took the bandaid off of it to get in the shower. And I just remember looking at it and it was like really bad. So I just squeezed it out and it just came right out. And that didn't hurt at all. Anyway, about the actual piercing itself, um, on a scale of one to 10, they hurt about a seven or seven and a half. Like the needle part doesn't hurt. It just felt like getting a needle from the doctor. I'm not someone who thinks needles are painful. So when you get a dermal piercing, um, I know some places use dermal punches, but apparently here, you know, it's against the law too. So they had to use an actual needle, not like a like, 14 gauge needle. So what they do is just poke a hole in you with the needle and she kind of like twisted it around while the needle was in me. And then they take it out really quickly and they have to like shove the- My camera stopped recording because the video was too long. That was a really rude camera. Like I was saying, and then they have to hurry up and shove the jewelry in. And like the needle part, the poke in the hole part does not, didn't hurt to me. Getting the jewelry in hurt it like, like really bad. Like that what made it a seven. Her trying to shove the jewelry in because what they have to do is go like, like kind of like that so that each side can go to get this, to get it in. <laughs> Inserting the jewelry was what made make dermals really painful to me. I don't think the needle part hurts. But it was, it was so worth it. I loved them. I loved having both of them. I'm eventually going to get this one repaired. With dermals, I don't think there's exactly a healing process, to be honest, because it's just sitting inside your stomach. When she pierced them, they did bleed. Um, this one on this side, see this one's always been a, been a problem. The one on my, what is this, my right? <laughs> the one on my right side has always been a problem pretty much because when I first got them pierced, this one bled, but this one didn't. Um, so yeah, and it still was bleeding like the next day too. So this one's just always been a problem. I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, so I don't think there's really a healing process with dermals. You still should clean around it. Like when you get it, you should still clean around it because it is a new piercing, but there wasn't really much of a healing process. Like they weren't crusties that I needed to clean off or anything. She told me like when I got pierced, the lady just told me like just clean them in the shower with like um, non-fragrant soap and that's what I did. And you do keep a band-aid on them. When you first get them pierced, you keep a band-aid on them for like two or three days, I think she said. Uh, that's how long I kept them on. All right, when I was, I don't exactly remember how old I was. I was like 16 or 17 when I pierced this little guy over here. Anyway, I got this little blue guy up here. I pierced this myself. I wanted to originally pierce it up here so that I can have two helix piercings, but this is a really tough area to pierce yourself and I couldn't do it. So I pierced it a little bit lower where it's softer skin. Again, it was another boring, um, probably just another boring day. What are you gonna do in boring days, you know? <laughs> that hurt a lot too because I did it myself. And my last piercing is my industrial piercing. It's one of my favorite piercings. So I got my industry pierced on my 18th birthday. That's This is one of the piercings that I really wanted since I was like 13. It's not my worst piercing. My hips are my worst piercing. This is my second worst piercing. On a scale of one to 10, my industrial was like a five or six, to be honest. I didn't expect it to hurt. Like, I think I underestimated the pain. It took the longest time to heal, to be honest. I think it was my fault because I, I haven't really been taking as much care, care of it as I have with all my other piercings. It took like five or six months to heal and I still don't think it's completely healed, even though I've had it for a year now because sometimes it does still get crusties around it. But I just clean them off now as soon as I do. And I kind of wish I'd been more careful with it when I first got it pierced. I uh, probably wouldn't be having this problem. But I've changed the jewelry a few times, so I know it's, it's okay to change. That's all my piercings. Um, I only have one tattoo, so I might as well show it. I can't really rotate my arm. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna get up. Yep, those are marks because I always wear scrunchies on my arm. I love this tattoo so much. And it's the only tattoo I have, but it's my favorite tattoo. <laughs> It's called an arm symbol. If you don't know what it is, you should Google it because I hate explaining what it is. Um, basically, it's like a Hinduism or Buddhism symbol. It's a really in-depth thing and I can't sit here and explain it to you. I read a lot about it and I did like research the meaning behind it and I think it's, it's a really beautiful symbol. I think it's it's a really cute thing. Like people well, people always tell me it's really pretty and I really like it. And I think it's, it's really good for not going to a professional. Um, basically, my friend, had a friend who does tattoos in his house 
and you shouldn't do that. You, you should go to professionals at studios. I saw her with her tattoos. She has like, I don't know how many she has now, but she, at the time she had like over eight or over 10 tattoos and she got most of them done by this, that guy. So I trusted him to do this. This was kind of a simple design because it's just basically an outline and a filling tattoo. You don't really have to do much. It's not like a bunch of colors or a bunch of lines or anything. He had like experience because he tattooed people all the time. Like I know that's not a smart thing, but she, my friend got her tattoos from him, so I trusted him. It didn't really hurt that bad to me. Um, it kind of just felt like cat scratches and I've always had a cat since I was like eight. We've always had a cat in the house, so I'm kind of used to cat scratches. The beginning, like when he first started out on the little diamond, that part's right on my vein, so that part really hurt it. But it was bearable. It wasn't too bad, honestly. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say that this tattoo was about a five, maybe four. It felt like getting scratched by a cat over and over again. I think I've covered everything. If I left something out or if you have a question, you just comment below or ask me on Tumblr. For now, that's all my tattoos and piercings. If I ever get more in the future, of course, I would make a part two. Yeah, thank you guys so much for your suggestions and everything. Thank you guys so much for leaving me nice comments all the time and being so cute. You guys are like the sweetest people. I know everyone who leaves a comment, I always say, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. But you guys are honestly like the sweetest people ever. Anyway, I can, I just ramble. I'm like the quietest person ever in my life, but when I make videos, I just never stop talking. I'm gonna cut myself off right now. Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. That was weird. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> I'm so tired, can you tell? I'm so tired, guys, I'm so tired. Bye, guys. Uh -huh.